Good morning guys, welcome back to my studio vlogs. If you've never been here before, my name is Daniela and I run a stationery business online called Paper Dream. I film these videos to just give you a little bit of a background insight into what I do. Today I have some orders to pack so I will take you with me while I do that and then I really need to think about like the future and like what I want to achieve this year with my store. Uh, I have filled out my bullet journal for January, finally. I know it's February now. Um, I, what I mean is for like for the rest of the year, I've like done my goals and aspirations page. So I might show you through a bit of my bullet journal as well. Um, and then we can get on to talking about business. In other news, uh, the sun is out today and it's looking very nice outside. I mean, it's still freezing cold, um, but it looks nice. So I put on a little sundress to make me feel better. <laughs> uh, quick Oscar update. Oscar is my dog, by the way, if you don't know. Oscar does need surgery. We were given multiple options. We requested for our vets to do the surgery. They're very busy at the moment, so she said she has to ask their surgeons if it's something that they want to take on. So hopefully they want to fix our dog for us. Um, so we're just waiting to find out. Just a quick update in case you were wondering. Uh, so stick with me guys and let's get on with some packing.
Okay guys, so I have packed my orders for today as you have seen. Uh, I thought I'd just have a little chat about my plans for the future. Obviously as you know, if you've watched my previous videos, Things are a little bit on hold at the moment uh, because I'm having problems with getting stock in um, from Atra and Olive. My understanding is this is something to do with the pandemic and changes to how China export and the amount they're allowed to export at once. So I'm kind of stuck. I have a lot of money invested with Atra and Olive right now some of it should be arriving if what i've been told is correct should arrive this week but the tracking has not updated at all i don't have high hopes i just i just don't see it coming in this week and if it doesn't i don't really know what i'm gonna do because it's it's coming on 10 weeks now since the order was submitted to the warehouse um 10 weeks is a long time <laughs> maybe other people are used to waiting 10 weeks and stuff i definitely am not <laughs> and if it's going to be even longer that's going to be a problem for me um i've also had an issue with um a previous order got sent to the wrong stockist um that was over christmas so i missed out on sales at christmas so like there's also like this part of me that's kind of like well if I wait 10 weeks for something to come in and then ten, after 10 weeks find out that it's been sent to the wrong person it would then take another 10 weeks to send a replacement so you're looking at 20 weeks from ordering um I'm not a fan of those numbers at all I don't think that's sustainable business wise so yeah, at the moment I'm just, I'm still panicking because <laughs> I'm not over the other order being sent to the wrong person yet and I am very, very dubious about the order arriving and very nervous about the whole thing and it was significantly more money that I spent this time. So fingers crossed that is going to turn up but like I said, I'm not getting my hopes up and I am quite worried, I am quite worried. And I definitely can't afford to wait for a replacement if something has happened and it has to be, the process has to start all over again. I can't wait another 10 weeks. Yeah, if it came down to a 20 week wait, I think I would have to be looking at finding another brand to stock because that's not, it's not sustainable. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that. Hopefully that's not going to be the case. I think once this order arrives, if it arrives, uh, I will feel a lot better about the whole thing based on the time scales given to me the order I placed at the end of January won't be getting here till April or May um, and that was an even bigger order than the previous one that I'm waiting for right now it's kind of frustrating paying out a lot of money and having to wait several months for it to arrive to then be able to make that money back uh previously i only had to wait about three weeks normally um but because of the sizes of my orders increasing apparently that goes by but and that significantly slows it down and i have no control over that they won't send it any other way than that uh that's just how it is um so i don't know if that's really working for me maybe i'll have to do small orders that's another option i could just do little orders and wait the four weeks three three to four weeks for the smaller orders and do them more regularly but i did find that when i did try to do that they kind of all just got sent at once anyway so i ended up having several orders all sent together i see i don't know how their warehouse works but yeah i so i don't even know if that's an option Okay guys, so I just thought I'd talk to you a bit through my bullet journal uh, this year. Um, I'm still using the Atron Olive. I believe this is the deep green? I can't really, I'm sorry. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, I just really love this one. So I'm sticking with like this kind of layout for now. 
uh, for my weeklies because I just really enjoy it. And I have started using this section here for a bit of journaling every week. And um, this is the start of this is my monthly for February. Um, I used to do like personal and business to dos here, but they kind of get done on the weekly spreads. So I decided to try some habit trackers um, for vitamins, skincare, and exercise. And it's the first of February today. I've done my skincare. I haven't taken my vitamins, and I haven't done any exercise. And I don't feel like doing any, so um, this page is going to be my order tracker page, but I haven't filled that out yet. Um, if you do run a small business, I find it really handy to do a little graph um, for order tracking. Let me just show you. Uh, I believe this is January. Um, so I just have this order tracking page to see how kind of so I can kind of see how many orders I'm getting a day. Um, it's really I started it in November, I believe. Um, so I did November, December, January so far, and it's just nice to kind of compare the two. Um, and then for the year, uh, I want you to do this. I've got books, which I haven't read any yet. <laughs> um, music, so I can kind of keep track of what I'm listening to. Uh, series and movies. We have been watching quite a few movies. Um, let me just tell you about some that I would really recommend. These are the films that I recommend. My top five. So far out of what I've watched this year, I recommend you to watch. They're quite serious. They're not like light-hearted, um, but they're very, very good. Dark Waters, 1917, 7500, 42, and Only the Brave. I recommend you watch those films. They're really good films. And if you want to know more about those films, you can watch my other video. Uh, where I will go into detail a little bit about these films. Yep, that's everything for like updates in terms of my bullet journal. So guys, the next thing I need to think about is what my next purchase will be once I can afford to. Um, what company slash product I want to invest in next and get in for the store. Um, so I need to do a little bit of research maybe write down some ideas of like who I want to bring in to the store, like what products I want, um, and then maybe reach out to some people. But yeah, planning stage comes first. I definitely know I want to order some more Stalogy. Uh, they're doing some limited edition colours and I definitely am interested in that. So I kind of need to plan a bit for that. That's probably going to be my next little venture and yeah that's all i've got for you today guys if you enjoyed the video as always please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you next time